day viewers thank you for joining us here we want to solve this problem if x raised to power 21 plus x raised to power 14 is 12 you are finding the value of x given that x is a real number now from here we have x raised to power 21 plus x raised to power 14 equals to 12 now let's rewrite this as x raised to power 7 then all raised to power 3 that will still give us x raised to power 21 from law of indices then plus simply here x raised to power 7 raised to power 2 still x raised to power 14 then equals to 12 then from here since we have x raised to power 7 and x raised to power 7, we can say let a letter. Let's use a here. Let a be equal to x raised to power 7. And we now rewrite this equation as a raised to power 3 plus a raised to power 2 equals to 12. Then from here, we can bring 12 to this side to form an equation. We have a raised to power 3 plus a raised to power 2 minus 12 equals to 0. This is a polynomial of degree 3. Let's try to solve this like this. We can express a raised to power 2 here as the same thing as minus 2a squared plus 3a squared. So that will give us plus a squared. So we now have a raised to power 3 minus 2a squared plus 3a squared minus 12 which will be equals to 0 then we factor what is common here when we group them to 2 so what is common here is a raised to power 2 left with a here then minus 2 here then what is common here is 3 we have 3 out we have a squared and we have minus 4 left equals to 0 then from there we can rewrite this as you know difference of two square we have a squared into a minus 2 then plus 3 into a squared minus 2 squared that will be equal to 0 and this is difference of two squared when we factor difference of 2 square, we have a square here, then into a minus 2, then plus 3 into a plus 2 times a minus 2, which is equals to 0. This is difference of 2 square here applied. Then we can see we have a minus 2, a minus 2. Let's take it out. We have a minus 2. Then what is left here is a squared. Then what is left here is plus 3. Then times a plus 2. So equals to 0. And when we see that, we see that we have a minus 2 into bracket a squared. Open this bracket, we have plus 3a. Then plus 6, which is equal to 0. Now, we can equate each of these to zero now since they multiply and the result is zero. Either of them could be zero. So when we equate each of them to zero, we have from there we are going to have our a minus two equals zero. So we have a minus two equals zero, or we have a squared plus 3a plus 6 is equal to 0. Now, we solve this now. And uh, from here, we can take minus 2 to this side and a will be equal to 2. Now, from this side, let us, a is equal to 2 on this side. Let's check whether we are going to have a real solution here. Since our discriminant is b squared minus 4ac and in this case our uh, a is 1 our b is 3 
NRC is 6. Now let's put this there now and see whether we are going to have you know a real number there. So we have discriminant which is b squared that's 3 squared minus 4a that's 4 times 1 times c that's 6. So when we look at that we have that's 9 3 squared that's 9 minus 4 times 6 that gives us 24 there. That's minus 24. And we see that this will give us a negative answer. So this is negative, which is complex. So we have complex solution here. And since it's complex, we reject this particular one because we are after you know the real solution. Now let's work with our a equals to 2. So for a equals to 2 now, we represented our a as x raised to power 7 so we cannot say for a equals to 2 which is a is x raised to power 7 now which is equals to 2 we are finding our x so we can take the seventh root on both sides when we take the seventh root on this side here seventh root on this side here then we have our x we then become because seventh root to cancel the power of 7 so x become seventh root of 2 and uh, which we can write again and say x will now be equals to 2 raised to power 1 over 7. So this is the value of our x and we can check. So to check now, to check from what we have, the equation we are given is x raised to power 21 plus x raised to power 14 is equal to 12. Now, we this give us 12. Now, let's substitute the value of x. We have x as 2 raised to power 1 over 7. Then, all raised to power 21 plus 2 raised to power 1 over 7. All raised to power 14. Is it equal to 12? Now, let's see from here. We have this power multiplied from law of indices. This power will multiply each other. And, you know, 7 can go here. Well, that will be 3. So we have 2 raised to the power 3 left here, then plus 7 also goes here, that's 2. So we have 2 raised to the power 2 here, and with this be equals to 12. Now let's see, we have 2 raised to the power 3, of course, is 8, plus 2 raised to the power 2 is 4, and uh, 8 plus 4 is equal to 12. We can see that this is 12, which is equal to 12, and therefore we have our solution as s equals to 2 raised to power 1 over 7 we say thank you for joining us don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more of our videos turn the notification on to receive you know notification to any of our videos we say thank you for joining us see you in the next class and bye for now